Meanwhile, a long way from the glare of individual glory and big money bowls live the Johnnies of St. John's, Minnesota. They've marched through a perfect regular season into Saturday's Division III semifinals while marching to a very different drummer. Recently, Steve Cipher has visited college football's most offbeat program. It's minutes before kickoff, and the Johnnies of St. John's University are in the middle of their unusual pregame ritual. bunch, led by an amusing man whose final speech before kickoff consists of little more than naming the starting lineup. It couldn't be more simple or more effective. All right, nothing stops us, right? All right, let's go get them. In the middle of Minnesota, St. John's is home to the largest Benedictine monastery and arguably the most unique football coach in the world. It's here where John Gallardi just says no. No tackling, no sleds, no slogans, no whistles, no playbooks. 73 no's in all. No kidding. You eliminate the unnecessary. And most things are unnecessary as far as I'm concerned. I couldn't imagine you know, you know, no whistles, no blocking sleds, you know, no tackling. Oh, you know, what, what are we doing here? What's going on? If I knew what the hell we were doing, I'd do it on purpose. You do learn the plays, but you just like, you know, what, 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 where do you, how do they learn the timing and that sort of thing? And you learn the timing by running it 200 times. Our way to rip it? Okay, all right. Here, practice is spent running play after play after play as a team. Patience and precision matter. Fear and intimidation don't. Once in a while, I chew a kid out, particularly in a film session. I try not to, but sometimes I forget and I do. And then it bothers me. That night, I usually have to, before I go to sleep, I usually have to call <laughs> and talk to him a little bit. Ever grab a face mask? Oh, Ever hit a player? No, I mean, that's ridiculous. You know, that's that's insanity. It's a mental game, you know. A lot of programs try to think of it as a, a physical game, and John uses it as a, as a mental game. Before anything else, the Johnnies learn to take responsibility for themselves and for their teammates. So much so that seniors do most of the coaching at individual positions. Down. As I'm coming down, should I just turn him out and then the trapper go out and pick up the backer? Because otherwise we're running into walking, everybody. Let's walk in. Let's see it. Undefeated, the Johnnies scored more than any team at any level in NCAA history with 61 points a game. They're trying to give Gallardi his fourth national championship in 41 years at the school. Earlier this season, he won his 300th game. I find it incredible that I'm as old as I am and I've won as many as I want. 300, holy smokes, that's, that's a lot of games, that's a lot of years here. Lombardi said oh, winning God. isn't everything, it's the only thing. Do you buy that? Well, I don't think it's the only thing, but it, it sure is not bad. You know, it's, <laughs> let's face it, if I hadn't won, I'd have been gone from here a long time ago. Even at St. John's oh, University. Especially at St. John. If he'd ever lose uh, two in a row, uh, he would. some monks would say he's lost it. <laughs> you know? But, but that, you know, that hasn't happened very often. No, it hasn't. Not with the very human approach taken by the coach called John, whose teachings only begin with football. Winning and then taking that in stride, being a gentleman, um, looking people in the eyes. Just little things that he teaches you. We're out here having fun. We're here two hours a day, doing what we want to do, laughing, having fun, and making good things. You can be a football player and a whole person all at once. Um, football is just a game. It's hard not to root for him. With, with no band, no cheerleaders, but those monks in tow, the Johnnies <laughs> will travel to Mount Union, Ohio for the semis Saturday. They knocked out the defending D3 champs, Wisconsin lacrosse, last week. Well, they dressed like Nebraska. Still ahead. <laughs>